Uh, let's speak to Professor Sonia Gibson Rankin, an expert in the study of racial inequality and violence at the University of New Mexico, a school of law. How, how significant is today's verdict? This, this is a very, sorry, this is, a, this is heavy. This is a heavy time, right? I mean, 2021, a jury convicted Derek Chauvin for the videotaped public execution and murder of George Floyd. But in 1992, a jury in Los Angeles failed to convict four police officers for the videotaped beating of Rodney King. And in 19, 1955, a jury failed to convict two persons in the murder of Emmett Till in Mississippi. And so today st stands as a testament of where we are as a nation, where we are as a world in the systemic brutality of what occurs to black Americans and how our criminal justice system sees them and views them and treats them. And going forward, how will this change, do you think, the policing in America and the sense of accountability? Because so few uh, American police officers are ever charged, let alone convicted of murder. You're absolutely right. I believe we're going to continue to see across the nation happening at the local municipality level, at the state level, and as we heard from President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris at the federal level, different standards and responsibilities as it relates to policing in the United States. So, for instance, in, in New Mexico, police um, uh, immunity was was just changed as it relates to their ability to not be held accountable for certain things. There's, we're going to watch this happen in jurisdictions across the nation as people start to look in more deeply at policing, at what police are called for, when police should be called, um, and the type of response they are to give. Just a, a final thought, because we're running out of time, but President Biden talked about the bravery of the 17-year-old girl who shot that video on her phone, which just exposed what had happened in that case. I mean, do you think that's going to be a feature now uh, in American society where more police officers are, are going to be filmed as they deal with arrests? Absolutely. In fact, what she did was so brave, and, and I encourage everyone to keep her and her family in your thoughts and prayers for their safety and for their own well-being. But police interactions have been videotaped for decades and decades in the United States. What we're going to have to start to see is that laws in certain states okay. that have had those behaviors be considered illegal will have to be Professor removed. Rankin, I've got to stop you there. We're out of time. Thank you very much.